this is going to be a friendly DIY that anybody can do because y'all know I started from the bottom and I just like to do a lot of stuff myself instead of depend on machines. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Mercedes. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're returning, as always, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a DIY video on my channel. It's been a minute, but y'all know every single year I make a birthday fit, a birthday shirt, something in regards to her birthday, and it's always going to be a DIY. And this year is a no different. So homegirl is turning 10. <laughs> where his time went. I started YouTube on her second birthday. I made a DIY second birthday shirt on YouTube and every year after I've been making DIY shirts for my baby and now she's starting to yeah. I'm not ready. But with that said, this year is no different. So let's get into the DIY birthday shirt. So I'm going to be using my Cricut machine. When I first started doing these DIY shirts, I did not even know what this thing was or that it existed. But here it is. It's been through a lot. It's had its work cut out for it. It's cut smart too. I don't know anything extra about it. It just does what I needed to do and that's it. But if you do not have a Cricut machine, do not worry because I'm also going to be using iron on letters. So this is going to be a friendly DIY that anybody can do. I just like to do a lot of stuff myself instead of depend on machines. I don't know. I got old so it's just in me so I got these letters off of Amazon they will be linked in my Amazon storefront I did these letters last year for her birthday when I was making a little custom outfit for her and I had some leftovers so I'm like I'm gonna incorporate these in this year's birthday because I'm going to get my money's work so we'll be using these along with what I print from the Cricut machine on my phone I have the Cricut app on my phone already I don't know if it's Cricut or cry cut I don't buy any extra font. I'm lazy. I just work with what I have. And this font looks similar to the iron letters. So that's what I'm going to use. This is what she wants her shirt to say in my double digits era. And you can see it's pretty colorful. I got a lot going on. Loves the color blue. Who would have thought that my girly girl would love the color blue? But I can't even judge her because my favorite color is green. So, I mean, I get it. I'll keep my iron on y'all so we have this blue color which she likes and then we also have this blue color but we don't have that much of this one so we don't have to work with what we got and we also have silver but her main color is blue so we're gonna try to do as much blue as possible and then if we have to use the silver we'll use the silver I haven't done iron on in so long. I think it go upside down, right? And I have to turn the mirror on, right? And we're using the long mat. Not the 12 by 12. We've, up, we've upgraded. Because we need these letters to be the same size as these iron on letters. Okay, y'all. So I had to change the font style. So I'm just using Trade Gothic, which is a single layer. It's as close as we're going to get to these iron on letters that we already have. And then I'm just going to go and change the sides of the letters so I need them to be as close to the iron on letters as possible so I need it to be about a two by three so that's about as big as it's going to be two by three so I have my then I'm going to do in and we're just going to duplicate this so we know that they're all the same I'm going to change this to in. It's the same height. As long as it's the same height, that's the most important part. In my, well, I guess I should put it in order. In my, okay, that's what that looks like. Let's see what it says when we say make it. So I need 20. And I got 20. So maybe let's do, let's delete double. And do that one later so, so that's what it's gonna look like and then we're just gonna have to do double a different blue or silver okay so because we're doing iron on you want to make sure mirror is on and not off it says 12 by 12 mat but i have it on the 12 by 24 mat but it's okay as long as the text fits in so it says mirror on we're going to go to next 
Then we're going to do glitter iron on because that's what we have. That looks cute too by itself. Like, that looks cute by itself. Okay, guys, so this is what I've come up with. The only thing I still need is a Y. So I think I can find a Y at Hobby Lobby. But as far as the setup, I think this is good. It'll be cute. Opposed to just leaving it with the um, vinyl, just adding those puffer letters as to it. So. I need to so what I did was cut out each letter that I'm not going to use because I don't think that the iron on letter patch is going to stick to the glitter around it even though I wouldn't mind leaving it on I don't think this is going to stick to it so I just went and cut out each letter that I'm actually going to use the patches patch letters for that way it sticks easier so I don't have any parchment paper, so I'm going to use this to kind of get the letters attached. Hopefully it works good. Yeah, girl. I'm going to make sure this I just have the number 10 printed out. These are the pink vinyl and the blue the blue glitter vinyl that we use on the back of the shirt. And then this is the blue vinyl that we use on the back of the shirt as well. And it just has her name on it. So we're going to add this to the front of her shirt. But we got a dilemma. I need to incorporate black. In her shirt because her shoes are black and her skirt is black but I don't have any black vinyl so and it's Sunday Hobby Lobby's closed and I don't feel like going to the store just to buy black vinyl so 
we're gonna make some work but let's get this onto the shirt and yes i'm already on my couch and i messed up on the bed so i'm gonna So I've never had this happen, but the pink is getting too hot and it's peeling and the blue is not hot enough. So it's okay because of what I want to do to the shirt. So I'm not mad at this part, but it's like if I keep doing it, then I'm going to take off all the pink and I don't want that. All right. So we got her name on there. It's a little messed up, but it's okay. Okay, guys. So I have this black paint and I have an old paintbrush. We're going to... With this, I'm not gonna do it in here because we're gonna make a mess. But my plan is to splatter the black paint around here. Not all over, but just around here and maybe a little on the back just to add the black. But I gotta see how I like it in the front first. So let's go. All right, so I just got a Ross bag. I'm gonna, put this here. I'm gonna just put it in here so it doesn't touch the back and bleed through. I don't know how to do it. I'm scared. I normally just do it from the bottom, but I don't want to go. Oh, oh gosh. Super thin, so if you want like bigger dots and streaks i normally just take this whole bottle and do like this but i'm scared because i don't want it to go all over her shirt because even this might stain it okay i'm gonna stop while i'm ahead then i'm gonna make it work Ooh, got it on my counter. but y'all get the point y'all get the point i should have blocked off the rest of it a little better so that it wouldn't get all over her shirt but it's okay it's okay because the back, I feel like we can take the whole bottle and just pour. But we're going to let this dry and see how it looks and see where we need to add and take away. And then we're going to do the back. You want a lot or a little bit? A little bit. No, I'm scared. Dude, why you got the whole bottle now? Come on. No, why you got the whole bottle? Because my oh. I said a little bit. Oh, you're getting it all. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. That's enough. Put some right here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Mommy. I said right here. That's good. <laughs> you already made a whole sweat. Oh, my God. Hey y'all, so I finished the shirt. So it's not perfect, but I think that makes it even more perfect when you do something yourself and you make it, it's just the memory. So I've been making her shirts literally for every birthday since her first birthday. And this is just another one added to the list. I wish I would have saved all the other ones, but I didn't. So if you guys enjoyed this DIY shirt, and let me know if you guys are going to make your own birthday shirt or one for your kids or whoever. Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all in another video. Bye guys.